cat hacks that'll help make you and your cat's life easier. By the way, make sure to see till the end where I'll share three of the biggest mistakes cat owners make. Hack number one, use shallow bowls or plates when feeding them. Cats can get this thing called whisker fatigue, which is basically an overstimulation of the whiskers when they're brushed up against too much. So if you're using a deep bowl, your cat has to reach their face further into the bowl to get the food. And this can cause sensory overload, which can be stressful and even painful for your cat. So if they're not eating out of their bowl, that might be why. I use these shallow bowls that I got from Amazon. I think they also have them at Walmart. They work really well and I have them in every color. My cats love them. Hack number two. If your cat eats too fast, try using a puzzle feeder. There are a lot of different puzzle feeders on the market. Some of them are just kind of like stationary giant plates that have like this maze design where you like put the kibble in and it's just like harder for them to get the food. And some of them are more designed for like mental stimulation and entertainment, keeping them busy, kind of like a toy. This is the one that I have. It was like $6 from Chewy.com. It has like sort of different difficulty levels. Basically they can play with something like this and make it harder for them to get the kibble out. I use this for treats because it's more motivating for my cat than kibble. If they eat too fast, any kind of puzzle feeder is a good idea. It'll be harder for them to get the food and it'll slow down their eating. Hack number three, if they're not drinking enough water, try a water fountain. Do you ever wonder why your cat loves drinking water from the faucet? Cats love running water. In the wild, they instinctively see running water sources as clean, fresh water. Any water that's stagnant in the wild usually has a lot of bacteria in it and they know instinctively not to drink from there. So if they're not drinking their water because it's just sitting in a bowl, that might be why. Try a water fountain. See if that keeps them from trying to drink out of the faucet every time you're washing your hands. Hack number four. If your cats are digging in your potted plants, try putting orange peels on the top of the soil. Cats hate the smell of citrus, but if you can tolerate it, this can also work by using like a citrus scented spray on any surface that you don't want them on. So that should help deter them. Hack number five. If they won't use the scratching post or if they're bored with their toys, try using a catnip spray to make it more appealing. I think this is also from Chewy, but it's Kong Naturals. I've used it on toys that my cat has gotten bored with and he picks them right back up. I've sprayed it on like carriers, his backpack, um, and he just goes nuts over it. So this can kind of help make toys seem new again. Highly recommend. If they're sick of their toys or they're scratching the furniture instead of their scratching post, try this on the scratching post and citrus spray on your furniture. Speaking of toys, act number six, save money on expensive toys and just give them your leftover Amazon boxes. I'm serious. They would rather play with an empty box than most toys that are designed for them. They also like paper bags, at least mine does, and string. But only let them play with string if you're supervising them because that can be an emergency if ingested. Hack number seven, if the litter box stinks, you probably need to clean it. If the litter box is clean, the smell is still bothering you, putting a little bit of baking soda in the litter box on top of the litter will help neutralize the odor. Hack number eight, if you or anybody else in the house has allergies, try using an air filter. This will help filter out the allergens in the air and help alleviate allergies. Not eliminate, but it'll help. Hack number nine, if they hate using their carrier or backpack, try leaving it out all the time in your house so they get used to being around it. Always leave it open so they can explore it on their own. You might even catch them sleeping in it if they get used to it. Three of the biggest mistakes cat owners make include punishing your cat, click the link to find out more about that, giving your cat milk, Cats are lactose intolerant and it can be very harmful. It is a total myth that cats need milk. They don't need milk at all. They need water. So please don't give them milk. Failing to spay or neuter your pet. This is so important. There are so many kittens in the world. The last thing we need to do is add to the number of cats and unwanted babies in the shelters. Not being spayed or neutered can lead to diseases. It can also cause aggressive behavior, especially with males. If they're constantly looking for a mate, they might get frustrated, they'll get territorial, and they might actually try to escape looking for a girl cat. Please spay and neuter. <laughs> what are some cat hacks you've tried? Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna learn how to backpack train your cat, make sure to click the video at the end. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next video.